Hi. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the intercepts of a linear function to find the equation of the function in general form. Okay, so this question says, find the equations of these lines in general form without calculating the slopes. So here's the story. This isn't an, like an absolutely critical skill to have. Um, if you can, as you have to be able to find the equation of a line in general form, but you can totally do it by using slope-intercept form or slope-point form first, and then converting. Uh, but this is kind of a nice trick. It's kind of a nice way to think about general form, and it's worth it to to learn how to do it. So here are some hints. Um, we're actually going to start, just to help us uh, do a little, like, a mental arithmetic, we're going to start with standard form, which is almost the same as general form. It's ax plus by equals c, where general form is ax plus by plus c equals zero. So it's just going to um, mean that we'll, we won't have to do a subtraction. So it's just going to just, it's just for the sake of simplifying mental arithmetic. And then we'll just quickly sort of subtract c from both sides, and we'll have standard form. Um, another hint is, as we're doing this, what we're going to do is we're going to choose the constant term here. And you can start with anything. You can start with 1, is actually a, like a common way of doing this. Um, but if we choose the lowest common multiple of the intercepts, then that um, av will avoid us having any fractions, in because in general form we're not allowed to have any fractions. So if we started with fractions, we'd have to get rid of them. Okay. So here I'm going to start with equation number 1, the pink equation. And just to help my thinking uh, stay clear here, so I don't mix up any x's and y's, I'm just going to make a little table of the two points that I have. So I have the point x equals 10, y equals 0. That's my x-intercept. And I have the point x, equal, uh, x equals 0, y equals 20. That's my y-intercept. Okay, so for my c value, my constant term over here, I'm going to start with the lowest common multiple of 10 and 20 which is a pretty easy one, that's just 20. Okay, so what I ask myself is I imagine, well, if y was 0, then the only relevant term is the x term, so we'll look at the coefficient on x. So I'm going to have this here. If my y was 0, I can kind of ignore what that's going to be. And I'm asking myself, how many x's will equal 20? And the answer is just 2. So this part of the equation, no matter what's underneath where my marker is, um, 2x equals 20. That works for this, uh, for this point. 2 times 10 equals 20. Now I'm going to do the same thing, except I'll kind of ignore what the x term is. And I'll say, well, how many y's would I need to equal 20? In this case, it's just 1. You can write 1y if you want. So this is actually the equation. Um, here's an equation, so this is standard form. So then all we need to do to get general form is just subtract 20 from both sides. We have 2x plus y minus 20 equals 0. So I think it's worth making a point that um, this little trick works because I'm looking at the intercepts. So this, this trick only works if we know the intercepts, otherwise it's not really worth it. You can totally do it, but it's not really worth it. It takes more effort than just calculating the slope and then using another form. But if we know the intercepts, we can just do that trick right there. Okay, so let's do some more. Um, the purple equation is next, that's number two. So I'll make a little table again. So my first point is negative 30, 0. Then my second point is 0, negative 10. Okay. I should maybe just mark this. That that's number 1, just in case someone had trouble seeing the colors. Okay, um, and so for my c term over here, or my constant term, I'm going to start with the lowest common multiple of these. And really you can start with the negative or positive. Um, we might have to adjust the signs. You'll notice that I just kind of got lucky here and my a term, my x coefficient on x was positive so I didn't have to do anything with the signs there. Um, so I'll start, I kind of like positive numbers, so I'll just start with equals 30. Um, and then I say, okay, if my y value is 0, it doesn't matter what that y term is. So how many x's do I need to get 30? And because my x is negative 30, I'm going to write negative 
I need negative 1 x's. Okay, and for my next term, I say how many y's do I need? If my x is 0, then it doesn't matter what that term is. So how many y's do I need to get a 30? And here I'm going to need negative 3 of them. Because negative 3 times 10 is 30. So that's actually an equation in almost standard form. Standard form, the a value also has to be positive. Um, and now I'll rearrange, um, and I want my coefficient on x to be positive. So I'll... I'm going to do this all in one step. What I'm thinking about doing here is I'm adding these to the right to both sides, so it comes over on the right-hand side. But it's kind of nicer to write it with the zero on the right, so then I'm flipping it. Uh, so this comes out to... You should If you, this doesn't make sense, you should just do both of those steps. They're both easy steps. comes out to x plus 3y minus 30 equals 0. Uh, wait, after saying how easy that was, I got the wrong sign there. Plus 30. Okay, and then just to check, if uh, I use this point, if x was negative 30, I'd have x plus 0. So if x was negative 30, I have negative 30 plus 0 plus 30, and that is 0. And then if I check with this point, I have my x value would be 0. So I'd have 0 plus 3 times negative 10 is negative 30 plus 30 equals 0. So that's the correct equation for the purple line. And then for the green line, which is number 3, well, this point is 20, 0. And this point is 0, negative 25. So my lowest common multiple of 20 and 25 is 100. If I look at my first point first, my uh, x-intercept, where x is 20. Uh, since my y value is 0, the y term doesn't affect uh, what's going on with this point. How many x's do I need to get 100? And that's 5. And then for my y-coordinate, uh, y y-intercept, how many y's would I need to get 100? And that's going to be negative 4. And then I'll just subtract 100 from both sides. And there it is. Um, and so that the right there is the general form of the equation of this line. Okay. Um, I would just strongly recommend that if you're doing this, uh, once you've got the equation written down, just double check that with the two points and make sure that they actually do make the equation true. Because it's easy to do, like I did up here, uh, get a sign backwards or something, or even to get the numbers, to get the coefficients flipped, uh, maybe to say negative 4x plus 5y by accident. So just quickly make sure that these, uh, both of these points satisfy the equation when you're done. Okay, good luck with it.